What's up, YouTube? Yep, OMG Hyde here with another third gen Wi Fi battle for you guys. This time versus Drew Z. Let's get to see at the end of the name. So, let's get this thing started. So, I lead off with my Alakazam, you man. He leads off with his fan I'm like, hey, you can't do that. It's a Dawn fan, man. So, anyway, I go for the Ice Punch because I know it's super effective and I have very high special attack on this thing. But unfortunately, it does not take it out and he goes for a Swords Dance. And I was like, hold on. Dawn fan can't even learn sword chance. So basically, I'm just in there like, you suck at this game. Why did you give that Dawn fan sword chance? But it's not matter because I could kill it next turn, but he decides to switch out and goes into his Quagsire, and at least I get my neutral damage on the Quagsire. It does absolutely nothing, but who cares? I'm going to switch out into my. Cacturn, because I'm a grass type and I could resist almost anything that the thing throws at me. Unless it throws an ice beam. So anyway, he goes for a curse, at least it could learn that. And I go for a needle arm, and that's easily going to take it out because it's time for damage on that quagsire. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We all know that. So, he goes into his Scytha, and I switch out because that thing has stab on both my weaknesses. So I'm like, crap. So I go into my horny, which happens to be a hair cross, and I resist one of his moves, but he goes for the aerial ace, and I'm like, ah, yes, it's aerial ace, I should have seen that coming, but I didn't, and I'm stupid for that. So anyway, I decide to go into my wheezing, because I completely wall that stupid thing. I go for the will-o'-wisp, but he goes for the substitute, and I'm like, what thing has substitute? And obviously he's going to set up his sword stance next turn. And at least he could learn that too. So what the heck. Anyway. I go for the sludge bomb because I have to break that sub as soon as possible. So. When I break the sub. I find out that he has leftovers. So I go for the haze. And he doesn't go for the substitute again. I was like. Ah. Oh, I could have went for the will-o'-wisp and burned the thing. But at least I got his stat changes to go back to zero. So now he doesn't have plus two attack anymore, which means he can't be doing much to me. So I decided to go for the paint split this turn, but he goes for the substitute again. I was like, uh oh, come on. So he blocks my paint split and he goes for a silver wet next turn. Well I go for the Well I go for the um Sludge Bomb to break his substitute. Yep. So then Yep. We get our leftovers and all that other nonsense. And he goes for an aerial ace and not a substitute. So I decided to go for a sludge bomb. If he just in case he looked for a substitute so I could break his sub. But he does not do that. And I could have got the burn on him again, but I didn't. I think it was better that I got damage on him so he wouldn't be able to set up more subs at all. So anyway. He switches out, he goes into his fan P, which resists my sludge bomb, and he's gonna take sludge bomb like a pro. So, yeah, I'm pretty much in a bad place right now. So I switch out, no, wait, I don't. I go for another sludge bomb, and thinking it's gonna take it out, but it doesn't. It lives with like 1 HP, I don't even know anymore. So now, he goes for a takedown, I live with 1, 2, 3, and he takes his own self out with that takedown. And at least Don Fan can learn takedown. So he switches out. Well, he doesn't switch out. He goes into his Milotic, which happens to be named Bulgy, but it's not Bulgy at all. It sucks. So he goes for a Water Pulse, but which helped me in the long run because I became weaker. So I got less HP, so my Pain Split would do a little bit more than normal. Well, it would do a little bit more. That's it. So I switch out after I get my Pain Split off. And he switches out to, he goes into his Dragonite, which happens to be a, another one of his screwed up hooks. So, I switch out because I do not like him being half flying. So, I go into Humad while he goes for a Dragon Dance. And I was like, yes, he goes for a Dragon Dance. Which means I can trick over my Scarf. I mean, not Scarf. I'm talking about Choice Man. There we go. And he checks a lot of other randomness things right here, and this was annoying. I'm like, what the heck? You, you could even go see his own video. You could like just see him go to Facebook and check a bunch of random stuff. So anyway, yeah. 
I go for the trick and he, uh, he gets my choice band, but he goes for the earthquake this turn, which means he has plus one attack, plus one speed, and a choice band, which means he's pretty much ready to sweep. But luckily for me, I have something that has levitate. And he can't hit me now because he only went for that earthquake. And I go for the Will O Wisp just to burn Dragonite because I hate Dragonite. And he goes into his Milotic, and now his Milotic has its ability activated, which means the fence rose just a tad bit. So now I got his Milotic burned, which is probably a good thing too because I burned one of his walls. So I switch out, I go into my Catfish because I'm pro. He goes for a Toxic. And yeah, it really doesn't matter because I have Mill Tank, which has Heal Bell. So I go for the Spark this turn just to be safe there. So anybody switches out to a Celebi, I was like, oh, come on, why did you have to switch out into Celebi of all things? So yeah, my Spark does absolutely nothing to Celebi, and I'm forced to switch out because. Yeah, he can go for a good drain, keep a drain, and just automatically take me out. But he doesn't, he goes for a calm mind, and I go into my you scared, because are you scared? Of course you are, of course you are. So he goes for a giga drain, next turn does absolutely nothing, because I resist it, and I think I put a bunch of special defense EVs into this guy. So, yeah. And I go for the grass whistle, and luckily it doesn't miss, and I put his celebrity to sleep. So I go for the Leech Seed next turn because I knew he wanted to switch out to get rid of his sleep because of natural gear. He goes into my Lodic, which wasn't the best thing he could go into, but I think he went into it as Death Fodder, but yeah, because now it's Leech Seed and it's hurt by Burn, and if I am faster, I can take it out with a, with a simple, you know, whatever you call it. Anyway, I decided to switch out that turn anyway, and I go into Suck on my Nip. Because that's what you're about to do to this mill tank, bro. Anyway, he goes for a toxic that turn, knowing he was gonna die. But I get the leech seed, and I really don't need left of him right now. The leech seed finally kills him off, and he goes into his dragonite, as you can see. So I go for the heal bell this turn, just to get rid of the toxics on my. Um, Wish Cash and Mill Tank. So now he goes for that Air Slash or Air Cutter. Yeah. He can't even get Air Cutter. It sucks. So, what the heck? As I told you, another one who screwed up pokes. So, anyway, I go for a Curse. I go for two Curses, I think. Yeah, two. I get two off. So I have plus two attack, plus two defense, and minus two speed. He goes for an air cutter and gets a crit, a crit that he wouldn't have got if he did not put air cutter on that stupid Dragonite. He is stupid. Yes, very stupid. So I go into my Catfish because I have the Ice Beam and if he did want to switch it, if he does want to switch up, then I'm talking about this like past tense anyway. Yeah, he does go into his Celebi and uh, he takes the Ice Beam nicely. It's not even gonna be like a. It's gonna be like a five hit KO. I don't even know anymore. So I switch out and I go into my. You scared, bro? Because yeah, you should be scared. And he goes for Giga Drain. Does absolutely nothing. He gains absolutely no health back, and I'm pretty much beast. I am going to switch up this Cacturn eventually because it needs to have a dark move just for Celebes and other psychic types. Pursuit perhaps, pursuit. Anyway, I go for the Grass Bull, so I put it to sleep because it does not miss twice in a row. Woohoo. So I go for the Needle Arm and he doesn't switch out, which means my Needle Arm is going to do absolutely nothing. And yeah, it's pretty much sucking for me at right now. So, I keep going for my Needle Arm and he switches out this turn. He goes back into his Choice bended Dragonite because I needed the choice bend, which sucks for me. So he has my choice bend, and I go for the Destiny Bond this turn, hoping I could outspeed the thing. But come on, it's Cacturn and that's Dragonite. Who do you think is faster? Obviously, the Dragonite. 
So, he takes out my character, and the only thing that walled his uh, Celebi. And now, he goes for a air cutter on my um, catfish, wish cash. And I go for the toxic thing, he's gonna switch out into like Celebi, but he doesn't, he stays in. And I go for the ice beam the next turn. And he goes for another air cutter because he's locked into it. And yeah, he takes enough damage from my um, ice beam and he can do all that other nonsense. So I switch out, which was kind of stupid because now my uh, using took damage that it could have avoided. But yeah, that was kind of a bad misplay on my part. But that Dragonite should not have air cutter in the first place. There's many misplays on his part. Many. Like a like a Sword Sense Dawn Fan. That that would be too beastly. Because Dawn Fan gets decent speed already. So why would you need this? The Sword Dance Dawn Fan. So his Celebi is gonna take out the rest of my team, so that's pretty much game. Uh, I don't even know if I want to call this a good game, Drew. Over here, you and your screwed up pokes with the air cutter and the swords dance on Don Fan. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys all later and peace out.